show last night at Sunrise Campus in Tijuana, Mexico. Yeah. I got my Tijuana Nightsmith stuff. Um, but uh, they, they paid me in pesos. <laughs> they tried paying me in tacos. <laughs> and I, I was going to let them, but my landlord said I can't pay her in tacos. <laughs> I just took some money from the offering bag and ran. <laughs> I just got back. Um, but I'm John Rico. I'm from East LA. I'm very proud of where I'm from. That's where I'm from. <laughs> uh, it was, we, were, we were poor. We were poor living there. They, uh, they stole our car from our neighborhood. I guess you could say they stole it. They only got it like 50 feet. There was no gas in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they broke into our house and looked around and saw there wasn't much to steal, so they just left us some money to fix the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, they didn't even break the window, the thieves before and then broke it. <laughs> A lot of cholos around. <laughs> A lot of cholos, like gangsters. Don't know what a cholo is, it's a gangster trouble. Uh, and they're probably not all bad. There might be some good ones out there doing volunteer work or like running, for, <laughs> running for city council. Um, <laughs> <laughs> volunteering at the polls when it's election time. <laughs> you voted, fool. But you know, for the most part, these guys are up to trouble. And so the cops had a numbering system to keep track of these guys to make sure, you know, to keep them in order. I know this because I once saw a cholo with 18 tattooed on the back of his head. <laughs> okay, there's a gang out there that's their number. I never saw a 19, 20, or 21. <laughs> I don't know if they were hiding. I just saw 18 all over the place. And this guy seemed to get around too. I would see him all over, I think it was like a mutant cholo. He would like, he would like change his appearance to get away from the cops. Sometimes he was tall, sometimes he was short, <laughs> plucked eyebrows, unplucked eyebrows. Uh, sometimes he was skinny, not skinny, no tea, no tea, rain tea. <laughs> but, uh, so there were, yeah, we had a lot of shows. Did you guys ever listen to the Art of the radio show? Yeah, yeah. yeah Art of the radio show. Um, so I'll fill you in, it was this show that all the gangsters and cholos and cholas would listen to, and whoever else, to, like, give, to dedicate songs to each other, or give shout outs, or dedications. And so you know, he, would be like, he would call up Art and he would play that song for you. This song is out to Lil Poo and Norman. <laughs> so, so I hear this guy call in the show, I was listening to it as a little kid. This guy calls in to Art Lebeau, hey Art Lebeau, I want to donate a song to my lady. I want to tell her I love her, I'm thinking of her, and nothing's going to keep you from her, not even the restraining orders. <laughs> and I want to donate another song to my other baby mama. <laughs> And uh, she was cool. We loved to watch movies. And uh, 
We loved watching movies. We would talk about what movie to watch. Hey, what do you feel like watching? Let's watch, uh, well, we could watch either Toy Stories or Saving Nemo or Nightmares for Christmas, The Monkeys Incorporation. She looks cool. She, uh, she did her eyebrows too, like all kinds of certain ways. Um, I never knew, like, whatever mood she was in, that's how she did her eyebrows. I never knew what I was going to get. Uh, so she came out of the bathroom. Uh, and uh, as far as one time, you look just like little Nike signs. <laughs> yeah. They did. She, uh, she said, I'm going to change my eyebrows. I said, just do it. <laughs> When we broke up, he called me up crying. 